In today's video, I'll be going over some great tips for new players in Stardew Valley. I will also be showing off more Stardew Valley cutscenes as well. This is part two of our series, and now let's have some fun. Oh, and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed, so a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. All right, let's try to have a really good day and make some good money. Oh, looks like some of our parsnips were done. Perfect. We do not care. And we only had one gold star though, that's okay. We'll put it away for later so we can save it. So some really good tips early on in the game is you wanna start a farm with potatoes. Potatoes are the quickest way to grow and the cheapest for you. You can get a good harvest on them and you can level up your farming in no time. That's why you can see most of my stuff is parsnips and potatoes. Parsnips you need for the community center if you're doing the community center bundles and potatoes, like I said, they're good for money and good for leveling up. But you still need one of each if you wanna complete the bundles. So make sure you also get some other types of seeds and make sure you only plant enough so you don't run out of energy and you still have stuff that you can do throughout the day well we got 23 of them so we'll sell that and we'll sell the other two we had so some of the goals for today is we're going to obviously talk to a lot of the new people here in town and then we're also going to try to level up some of our fishing because fishing is a good way in the game to get stuff early on so we'll try to do that too so we'll grab our fishing rod and we'll head up north and we'll try to do that leak it's honestly a little bit weird going from one playthrough to the other i still feel like we have to hate on pierre but we don't pierre is actually good in this game play. <laughs> well, Linus is out here. A crushed bear of wilderness is all I care to know. I live out here by choice. All right, let's go fishing over here. A bullhead? Largemouth bass, like your mom. Another good thing to get money early on is fishing. Fishing is very underrated. A lot of people don't really recommend it sometimes because it can be a hard mini game. But once you get the hang of it, it's a good way to make some really, really good money. All right, let's go to the community center. We have a few fish that we can donate because that's also what you need to catch fish for is for the community center. So leveling it up and getting some extra ones to sell is always good. Really quiet in here. So it looks like we already got the largemouth bass and we got the bullhead. So we just need a carp and a sturgeon. Sturgeons can be really hard to catch. I am... A sturgeon! There we go, getting those knocked out. Let's go down by the ocean and see if we can get any more down there. Oh, and I read your guys' comments. Yeah, well, don't worry, we'll find some stuff for Sophia. We'll give her some really nice good stuff, don't worry. So far, nothing. Just been sitting here. Oh, here we go. We got a sardine and we got a treasure. Dinner. Bait. Can't use it yet, so we'll just go ahead and toss it. Get another sardine. And a herring. All right, let's go see if any of these need to be donated. Hello, Elliot. I'm kind of new this time myself, but I really feel at home. I moved here only a year before you. Well, that's cool. What are you staring at? Trying to work out if I'm pierced elsewhere? What? Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? So one sardine, then we need a red snapper, tilapia, and a tuna. Oh, we can sell the rest of these. Hopefully too, we can get this backpack early on as well. We need that bigger space and to do more stuff with it. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying my series, then please leave a like on the video. Let's try to get 15 likes on today's video. It really helps me grow. It helps me know that you guys enjoy my content. It'd be awesome if you guys did. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of cleaning up till we run out of energy. I think that's the closest we're gonna get before where you run out of energy. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, your scythe doesn't use any energy at all. So if you're new to the game and you're like, hey, I'm almost out, you can still use your scythe. Alrighty, but really good day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day and see how much we got from our crops. Oh, level two farming. Can make a stone fence, a mayonnaise maker, and a sprinkler. Okay, 1200 gold, we'll definitely take it. Oh, it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, awesome. And luck is on our side today too, so let's get all these potatoes. My life, it's potato. We're gonna have to go and buy some more because I wanna hopefully get to like level five farming by the end of spring. I think that'd be a really good start. It's nice to set goals for yourself when you play this game. Otherwise, you'll just get carried away and do the same thing over and over. It's good to have a good variety of everything. So the comment of the day, guys, is when is the first time you played Stardew Valley? Was it right when it first came out? Did it take you a couple of years? For me, it was pretty much a couple of years after. My sister told me about it and I got hooked ever since. But let me know in the comments down below. I think today is going to be a good day to go into mines. So let's grab our sword and we'll head down there. But first, we'll go over to Piers and sell some of this stuff so that way we can get some extra money and buy that back backpack too. What's up here? I got some potatoes for you. Sweet. We can buy the backpack. Oh yeah. Thank you. And we still have 824 gold left too. Because now we need to start saving most of our money for the festival. Because Pierre will sell strawberries and strawberries yield so much money for us. So we'll need to get those by as many as we can. We'll probably level up our mining today too. So we'll have to check that out. The only thing I'm not a fan of is how they moved the caves over here. I'm still not a big fan of it, but I understand. I'll cry me a river. So we left at level 10. Let's see how far we can get today. Oh, and if you guys want to level up your mining, see these rocks? These are the ones that give you XP. The other ones do not. That's more copper down here. Sweet. Found a geode. Found another dwarf scroll. Okay. Found some topaz and found some amethyst. Nice. Got a cherry bomb. That's cool. Found some cave carrots. They'll come in handy. We can eat those. Found some hardwood. Okay. 
So we just slayed two of those crabs. Now we got to talk to Demetrius. Alrighty. Pretty much out of energy. But we got 25 pieces of copper. That was pretty good. And we made it to level 18. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's find Demetrius. Get our money for it. I mean, it wouldn't really matter if we passed out today because we did level up. So it doesn't affect our energy. But still, we shouldn't be really doing that. Here he is. Let's get our 150 gold. Hey, I see you called the rock crab population a bit. They've been multiplying quicker than normal due to human activity in the cave. So I'm hoping our efforts prevent them from threatening any other species. The local wildlife thing you for what you did today, Grant. Enjoy your reward. Oh, I will. Thanks, dude. 150 gold. Oh, yeah. Sophia's at her farm. Let's go talk to her if we can get there in time. Oh, and we can make a furnace, so let's go ahead and do that. So that was one of our achievements, too. And then we can smelt a copper bar. You know what would be really cool if they added when you drink a Joja Cola if it made your speed go up a tiny bit because you are drinking caffeine? I think that would be cool if it did that. Or if you could buy, like, energy drinks. So if you modders are listening, maybe you should mod energy drinks into this. That'd be cool. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Here she is. Well, Sophia. What? What, what do you want? Oh, saying hello? Um, hi. I know you're shy. It's okay. I'll see you later. Mushroom. But let's go ahead and head back to our farm. So we got some geodes too, so we'll give those to Clint tomorrow. All right, really good day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day. Oh, we can make staircases. Level two mining. 494 gold. We'll take it. All right, it's raining today, so we don't have to worry about watering our plants. We got our first copper bar. Awesome. Look at all these parsnips that are done. Hopefully we can get another gold one. This should level up our farming too. Oh yeah, we got four of them. Four gold ones. So we can go ahead and donate those. We'll bring over some other stuff to donate too that we've gotten. Not too bad today. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and sell off some of these parsnips. Oh, there's some more up here I missed. I'm not the smartest. You are so dumb. Let's go over to the community center and let's donate these items. All right, we got this mushroom for the fall foraging. We got the vegetables up here. And we got the quality crops right there. And then we have this crab here for the crab pot bundle. There we go. Got all those donated. But we can head over to Clint's and get these geodes opened up really quick. Because it's not a Grant the Gamer video for not opening up stuff. Oh, what are you doing here? Buy a Joji membership today and say big on your next purchase. No. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my life and shut up. That's cool that they have him outside, but he's in the rain out of all days too. That's pretty funny. Hey, what's going on, dude? I got some geodes. Can you open them up for me? Okay. <laughs> Really? What the dog doing? Ooh, shiny. I don't know if we've donated that or not. Let's go ahead and check. We've already donated it. Pier's closed today, so we can't buy any more crops. So that's all right. I think today's a pretty good day to go fishing. So we'll go down there and do some fishing. Hello. Hi, sweetie. Happy Wednesday. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll give you a taste of some rare wine. Oh, okay. Mm. Let's try here down at the ocean. See if we can get anything good down here. Leveled up our fishing. Awesome. What is that? Dull seaweed. I've never gotten that before. That must be something new in the game. I always forget there's a bunch of new fish in here. I'm going to sell off some of these fish to Willie. Fiberglass rod is 1800 and that's when we can start using uh, bait and stuff. So, And the bar is a little bit bigger, so we might save up for that. Is it just me or does fishing in video games always be the most relaxing thing? Like as a mini game and stuff? Oh, we unlocked a new achievement, Fisherman. Got a sardine and our treasure is... Meatball! Some good stuff, okay. Did some fishing. We're going to go back to our farm though. I want to clean up some of the stuff, so we'll, we'll head back up there. Hey Jesse, I do love watching my seedlings sprout and grow. This is same with my people, dear. Nourish them and watch them thrive. That's very inspirational. Yeah, let's try to clean up this as much as we can. Yeah, yeah, no, we won't. You can, though. Oh, another early game item that you should always make is field snacks when you're chopping down trees. They give you a good amount of energy and they help you keep going. Plus, all the sap you get, you can turn into basic fertilizer and that'll help you get some gold stars early on as well. Just like that, I made two more field snacks just because we saved all of those stuff. A pretty basic day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day and let's see how much money we got. Leveled up our farming again. We can make a bee house. Bee grow and a farmer's lunch. And level 2 foraging, we can make a survival burger. Level 2 fishing, we can now craft bait. Really good day, 1700 in gold. Oh yeah, we'll take it. Get, 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 get that paper. Oh, this dude's here. Morning Grant, just dropped by to warn you about those crows flying about. I woke up to see them flocking over my crop field. Had to scare a few off. Hmm, I think your farm is fine. I live right by there, that forest, so I get a lot of them roosting in the trees, darn crows. Yep, there they are, darn scavengers, but looks like they aren't nibbling at your crops like they did mine. Because I have a scarecrow. Einstein. Would be a good idea to build more scarecrows if you can. Might not be a bad idea to build a few myself. I'll go get started. Good luck farming. Bro, I already knew that. Thank you, though. That was an interesting cutscene. Or oh, mom sent us cookies. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, Poke. Come to old house, Poke. Bring coins. Okay, hat mouse. Oh, Robin's missing her axe. Let's try to find that. Okay, let's see if we can find her stuff. We're gonna head up to the mines today. I wanna try to get to close to level 40 as much as we can. But we'll head up there and see what we can do. Hey, old McDonald, how's 
the farm. Well, I suppose you're not really that old, are you, actually? You're kind of cute. Oh, thanks, I guess. I don't know how to respond to that information. Alrighty, let's see how far we can get in today's mines. Lots of these little zealots right here. Ooh, found some amethyst. Okay. Ooh, we got a treasure room. What is it? Steel small sword. Awesome. We'll use this new sword. Been down here for about five minutes. Haven't found too much stuff. Well, hopefully we can. I oh, got a rice chute. Made it to level 25. Found an earth crystal. Okay. Alright, we ran out of energy, so let's go ahead and head back to our farm. We got to level 27. Not too bad, honestly. We got some cool items, like some of these rice chutes, so we can plant some rice up. We got some geodes. Pretty good day. We got a bunch of stuff for Gunther tomorrow, too, so that'll be nice. So pretty good day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day and see how much money we got. Leveled up our combat. We can make a sturdy ring and bug steak now. 245 gold. Okay. Traveling carts in town. We'll have to see what she has today. Oh, Willie got some new stuff in stock. Okay. Tomorrow's the egg festival in town. Okay. We'll definitely win that. We'll definitely win that. All right, cool. Let's go see what the traveling cart has, and then we'll head up to Clint's and get these geodes opened up. Hello. Do you have anything good or something I can afford today? Sea foam pudding? Yuck. A cherry sapling for $22.50. Okay. An apricot. Apricot made of real apes. Large milk. We can actually use that for one of the bundles, but we should really hold off on that type of stuff. We could grow a rare seed, but I think we're good for now. Thank you, though. And there's Robin's lost axe, so we'll give that to her. Oh, I have a cutscene with Sophia. Oh, I'm sorry I scared you. It's okay. Uh, oh, Grant, it's just you? Yeah, it's just me. Being chilling. So sorry, I get startled easily. It's okay. Um, hey, you're kind of new to farming, so um, I want to give you a device as my way of welcoming you to the valley. Following me a storage chest. Okay. Going to her storage chest. Oh, okay. right. Here, it's a sprinkler. It'll automatically water adjacent crops every day. Thank you so much. Thanks for the quality sprinkler. That was very cash money of you. Um, I have an order ledger in my cosplay room. If you need more, you can purchase sprinklers from me. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Thank you, Sophia. We almost have a heart with her, actually. How's the sprinkler? Does it still work? Uh, I haven't tested it yet, but thank you, though. Now, honestly, save us a little bit of time with some of our crops. Let's head over to Clint's now and get these geodes opened up. So, dude, I got a bunch of geodes. Can you open them up for me? Okay. Shiny. Okay. We needed that. Okay. All right, bunch of stuff we can donate. Thank you. So, dude? I got a bunch of stuff for you. Got a new reward. What is it? Melon seeds. Okay, I'll definitely take those. See you, chump. See you, chump. We're going to go buy some more seeds over at Pierre's because we need some and we're going to need to make a lot of money. What's up, dude? Yeah, let me get a ton of potatoes. Get 40 potatoes. That way we still have some money because we're going to need it. See you, dude. Let's go ahead and plant up a lot of these potatoes. 20 minutes later. So I was coming up here to give Robin her axe and we have a cutscene. Good day, Grant. What's up, dude? <sighs> Morris promised Jojo would clear away this rock slide by now. Susan is trapped at home and can't get out to expect via train. Now she's telling me to clean up the operations delay until early summer. My hands are tied. As the mayor of Bell can tell, my duty to ensure everyone is safe. Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. I'm just relieved no one was hurt during that rock slide. I must be on my way, Grant. Don't bother using your pickaxe to try to move these rocks. It'll take you months. Hmm, so maybe if we upgrade our pickaxe. Okay, let's give Robin this axe. Here you go. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. What? 250 gold. We'll take it. I'm gonna try some fishing here in the river, see if we can find anything good. Your mom's glasses. Got a sunfish and our treasure is... <laughs> Ornamental fan and a coal. Got a bream. Okay. Not too bad. Let's see if we can donate any of these at the community center. I'm not sure. We got the sunfish. There we go. The other ones we don't need in there. Oh, we have a cutscene down here in Flynus. He's looking in the trash. Oh, Mr. Jenkins is mad about that. Mm. Mm, sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. Hey, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They're causing real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare. They never come back. Don't worry. I'm not going to scare Linus off. I'm sorry, bud. It was me. I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will waste if I don't take it. It's all good, bro. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? No, it's a shame for the food to go to waste. Thanks, Grant. I know you're open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. If the food's going to waste, might as well give it to him. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You tell him you're scared off the raccoons for good. He's gonna be checking in there. Wait! I know what you're doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Well, that's really nice of Gus. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. That was really cash money of him. Good wholesome cutscene. Tomorrow's the egg festival. We're gonna show everyone how good we are at finding eggs and make Abigail lose. She says she's the champ. Not this year. Not this year at all. All right, let's go ahead and put on the next day and see how much money we got. Not much. 145 gold. We'll take it though. Strawberries ready in one more day, but we have our cauliflower. Awesome. So that'll be going into the community center. I wonder if Sophia will sell 
sell us iridium sprinklers. That would be actually really nice if she does. Yeah, it looks like all of these spring seeds will be ready tomorrow. Nobody cares. Got everything watered up, okay. Since we can't do too much today, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up the farm a little bit. And the egg festival has begun, so we'll go ahead and head over there. This will be a lot of fun. Have you guys ever won the egg festival on your first try? Let me know. What's up here, what do you got? The strawberry seeds. Let's buy all of them. We could get 18. Not a whole lot, but that's all right. Well, she got rabbit ears on. Hey farmer, are you gonna chase after the eggs? Me? Nah, I think I'd rather hang back and check out the talent. Oh, interesting. I like the way you think. What's up, Elliot? Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. Hello, Grant. You know, it would be nice if the kids could win the egg hat for once, but Abigail, she's been winning every year since she was a child. Very competitive spirit, that lass. Yeah, she ain't winning. I get nervous around large crowds of people. Oh, I get that. I understand. Let's go ahead and start the egg hunt. Abigail's going down. Time for the highlight of today's festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is everyone ready? Yes, we are. Let the egg hunt begin. All right, here we go. I found one. I think they've moved some of the spots for them. Not sure. Got another one. Five eggs. Six eggs. Okay. Seven. Eight of them. I think we got it. Hopefully that's enough. Wow, look at all those eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have a cleanest town inside of the gym seat. <laughs> and now the winner of this year's egg hunt, Sophia. What? Good job. How many does she have? Here's your prize, Sophia. Enjoy. How many did she get, though? That's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. I thought I had a lot. I guess not. All right, pretty basic day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. We didn't make any money. <laughs> we'll learn how to make coleslaw, though. And looks like a ton of our stuff is ready. Okay. We got so many forageables. We got all those planted. We should hopefully get some really good money before the end of the season. But we'll be able to finish another bundle because we got the green bean and the cauliflower. Let's go to the community center and get this stuff donated. And the traveling carts in town today, too. But we have no money, so there's no reason to really look over there. All right. I'm stupid. You guys know I'm not the smartest. I forgot to donate the night fishing one with the bream. You guys can yell at me in the comments about that. And then Let's finish up this other bundle up here. Got it. Ooh, speed grow. We got 20 of it. Okay. Looks like we're unlocking something else over here. Okay. Looks like we got something over there. Let's check it out. Blacksmith bundle. Adventurer's guild. That one's pretty easy. And the geologist bundle. But let's go over to Gunther. We got some stuff for him. We got to donate. And then we'll try to go back to the mines because we need to get some more stuff in there. Yeah, I'm really loving this expanded content for Stardew Valley. It's so nice. There's just so much new things, new little animations. I don't know, just a lot of quality of life stuff too. It's really nice. Hey, bud. I got some for you. See you. All right, but let's head up to the mines and hopefully get a little bit farther in there. And we got plenty of food too, so we'll be good with our energy. Okay, hopefully we can get to like level 35 or something like that. I'm actually stuck. I have to get out of this level and go back down again. Are you kidding me? Because of these stupid big rocks. <laughs> Oh well, let's try this again. I haven't found too much stuff. We're at level 29, but we just need one more to get to level 30. Hopefully we can. A few minutes later. Hey, there we go. I made it to level 30. Oh, the dark ones. Oh, I remember these. Ooh, found an Omni Geode though. Found some Topaz. All right, we got to level 31, but we're going to head back to the farm because it's getting pretty late now. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Not too bad overall. That was pretty decent. I just hate those dark levels. You really need a glowstone ring for it. Otherwise, you can't really see squat or see if there's a ladder that popped down. But we'll figure it out. All right, really, really good day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day and see how much money we got. Level three mining. We can make a miner's tree. Miner? I hardly know her. 1,700 in gold. We'll take it. I think the salmon berries are ready. I know you're getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will die out, so plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. Okay, like I didn't know that. Still got half of the month, pretty much. Get out of my face, Grandma. Shut up! Yeah, these potatoes will be ready in three days. We're going to make so much money from these. Hopefully get to like level four or level five in our farming. There we go. Not too bad. Well, we got some geodes we can get opened up. So we'll head over to Clint's and get those opened up. And then we also have some stuff for Gunther too. Plus these salmon berries are ready. So we'll start collecting those too. Hey, Claire, let me know if I can do anything for you. Uh, I don't think you want to keep that question open like that. What's up, dude? I got some geodes. Can you open these up for me? Oh, wow. We've got some iridium. That's really good. Another earth crystal. We'll take that. <laughs> and some copper. Not too bad. Man, that was awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten iridium this early on in a gameplay. Just lucky, I guess. There's some topaz for you. Forgot to donate it last time. Ooh, we got some starfruit seeds. Just one, but that's all right. We'll take it. Let's go to the community center and donate this really quick. Found this little bubbling water, so we'll fish you really quick. Good way to get our fishing leveled up. There we go. We got a few fish before it went away. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and donate some of this. All right, got that stuff donated. Let's go back up to the mines one more time and see if we can get to level 35 or 40. Who's red? 
Reddish. Alrighty, hopefully we can see and get farther in the mines. Let's do this thing. Found another earth crystal and some amethyst. Nice. Ooh, got a bomb. I got like 500 guys on me. <laughs> I'm just sitting here doing the same thing. Look at all these little zealots. Stop again, zealots! Finally got rid of all of them. <laughs> Made it to level 34 so far. Hopefully we can find stairs up here really quick. Hey, there we go. Made it to level 35. But we're pretty much out of energy, so let's go ahead and head back to the farm. Pretty basic. I mean, we were able to actually get down five levels because that one is really hard because like I said, it's super, super dark in there. But it's not too bad. Got a good amount of copper though, 39 pieces. Now I like how he said, don't use your pickaxe. I'm going to try something. We have a bomb here. Let me see if this works. Nope, didn't do squat. Okay. The neighbors are probably like, what's going on out there? I heard a bomb. <laughs> Freaking everyone out in town. That's very funny, huh? Go ahead and sell off some of the stuff we got. All right, but really good day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. 331 gold. We'll take it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. We were able to get some new items. We were able to unlock more of the community center. And I hope you guys learned some new tips for all you new players out there. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace. Thank you.